Okay, all set to go. And now the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Leading off tonight for Oakland, the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. The wind of the pitch. That's Off the, the mark there. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 7 10. Ball Next ball. offering misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. No Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Popped in the air, left field. O'Neill under this one and puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Oh, and two as he waves oh at that one. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Here's Tony Kemp. Swing and a little roller right side. He steps on the bag, and that is that. And one, two, three, go the A's. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. You're dialed into the show. Leading up for the Astros, the first baseman, number 30. The pitch. That one missing inside. The pitch. Good eye right there. The why to kick the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. The wind of the pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Now, Gary Cox. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty, there's a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Number 30 gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. But it's not in time. And they just get one. Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play. And it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. 
And next to hit for Houston, number 10. Checks over to first, back safely. Another throw over, no, he's and he's back again. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. That one missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The runner. kick and the pitch. Runner oh, goes. Here's the ball. Throw. Save. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Runner at second here. One gone. On the ground, out to short. On to first. And there's two down. Now we check out the Astros lineup. The guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Aaron Judge. Took a pretty big step last year. A Silver Slugger Award in the American League. And now you're on the radar. Everyone knows it. Your teammates know it. They expect a lot from you because of that success. And so there are going to be times where you're going to have to put the team on your shoulders. And I know he's more than capable of doing that. Diego Corona up next for the Astros. Corona enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. That's in there. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch is outside. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Runner leads away at second. And he grounds one to the right side. And it goes just foul. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. The next okay. offering misses. And it's three and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. That's towards center. Right there is Loriano. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. So the Astros leave one, scoreless after one. Back here at Minute Maid Park, digging in, Seth Brown. The left fielder, Seth Brown. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Ball one, and no ball play. one. To third. He dives, but he can't make the catch. That leaves him without a throw, and they can't get the out. That is it. The catcher, Sean Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Over to first, and he's saved.
Ground ball could be two. Over to Altuve. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two outs, base is empty. And yeah, the batter now, Ramon Laureano. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. First pitch, and he just misses. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball two. No score here in the second. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Juan Soto. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. First pitch, not close. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. And base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Oh, he throws it away. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here is Aaron Judge. Big time power. Bounce to the left side, and foul ball. And Judge spoils that one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. 0-2 now. I got the count. One and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, exactly. one that lasts for several Third games, base, even a week or that more. You know, right now, Correct, he's man. really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Here's Alex Bregman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1 0 misses low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. 2 0. Gets the outside corner with that one. Second inning here, no score. Tap 
dropped on the ground softly to short. Andrews, one at second, over to first, safe. Safe, easy. Batting it, the second baseman, Jose. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Good power, not great in the OBP department. No, oh, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip, and the matchup is very favorable. First offering, and it just misses. Bregman leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. And they get out to Bay for the out. That's the inning. One left for Houston. We'll move to the third with no score. And now... Chad Pinder having more success against left-handed pitching this season as might be expected. Yeah, the right-hander back to work. And a strike. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Bringing the cheese on that one. Owen 2 now. And downstairs. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Lawrence Butler. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Top of the third, no score. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. And that's down it away. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Ah. On the ground. And that's just foul. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three, two. That's to third. Bregman to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Batting none. The right fielder, Steven Piscotti. Here's Steven Piscotti. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two down, nobody on. Inside and it hit him. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium.
Andrews in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Not a swing you want to watch again. And here it comes. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. The one two swing and a miss and that is that one left for Oakland and we are still scoreless and welcome back as we go to the last of the third and stepping in for the Astros Tyler O'Neill Tyler and he deals swings through that one for strike one and a pitch and takes low for ball one here comes a pitch Good eye in that spot. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand hitter waits. So two balls and no strikes. Two will count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. At the belt and fires. And that's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Gary Cox getting ready to hit. Cox, eighth in RBIs in the American League right now. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Number 28, the lead runner out at second. Number 30, out at first with nobody out. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. The pitch. Hammered on the line, base hit. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. And that hit carries a little extra meaning, Boog. It keeps his hitting streak going. He is dialed in at the dish right now. 
I don't think there's a more confident hitter in all of baseball right now. Looks like he's expecting a knock every time he steps to the plate. Bases loaded, nobody out. Here's a big power threat, number 10. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch is outside. Two and oh. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. This one popped up. Diego Corona now at the plate. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First pitch doesn't find the zone. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Kicks and fires. That's off the mark, and it's 2-0. and oh. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. pitch slice the other way and foul all loaded up dangerous hitter at the plate there's a strike the pitch way high One out, base is full. Hit on the ground, might be two. Noisy, toss the second, and that's two. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Sheldon Noisy. Leading off with the athletic, the third baseman, Sheldon Noisy. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Inside, ball Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that one handled to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The batter number five, second baseman, Tony Kemp. Digging in for Oakland, Tony Kemp. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty to the plate. Upstairs. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. One down, base is empty. And it's even up. Hey. 
kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. So here's Brown at the plate. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Out number three. And the A's are gone in order. And we're still knotted at zero. Bottom four. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Juan Soto. For the Astros, the designated hitter, Juan. Manaya back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The wide to kick the pitch. That ball two. Two and oh. Smash to the left side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first, and he beats it. Lead off man aboard on the air, and that puts your pitcher in a little bit of a tough spot right away to start the inning, not where you want to be. So we'll see if he's able to work around it and pick the defense up. Runner at first following the error. Here comes Aaron Judge. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And here it comes. In for a strike. 0 oh, and 2 now. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. The pitch. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. That one fouled off. And a pitch. On a line, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's Alex Bregman. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Slides, but it gets by him. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Back-to-back -back okay. base hits. Everyone's Second trying to elevate point. the ball in today's okay. game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Up the middle, dive, and he's got it. Kemp over to second, and a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Here's Tyler O'Neill. 
Now batting, left fielder, Tyler. Oh, and yeah, that's in there for strike one. All ones account. Judge at third with two away. The next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. And now the lefty. That misses. Two and one. Two outs. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a ball hammered left field. This looks like extra bases. In comes the runner from third, and they take a two-run lead. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We played four. It's the Astros two, and the A's nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. So here's Murphy now. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. And now it's even up. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really. Dives and he can't hang on. Gets it to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Now batting the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Loriano comes up to hit. First offering misses the mark. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. The 1 0. That one drifts oh, inside. Good. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The pitch. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Chad Pinder now. First pitch just misses. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. And now two and one. I got two one the count. And strike two. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. 
And here's the first baseman, Lawrence Butler. In there, and it's 0 1. And he deals. That pitch in for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. The A's strand one. And they're down 2 nothing. here in Houston and now the first baseman number 30 leading up for the Astros the first baseman number 30 here comes a pitch not one close with that one and it's one to know left hand batter waits there's a strike Line of the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Brown makes the catch, and there's one down. Now batting, center fielder, Gary Cox. And now here is Gary Cox. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. They say it went. The pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Now that number 10. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in the long ball threat, number 10. In there for strike one. And now one and two. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Two two now. And that one just missed off the outside edge. No, well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Count one and oh. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Domingo Acevedo appears to be getting loose. Puck, the power lefty, up as well. Manaya moved to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. The lefty, the 1-0. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. 
strike in there. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. At the belt and fires. Hit weakly on the ground. Kemp gloves it. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. So two on with two away. Juan Soto will hit next. That one's in there on one. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. The 0-2. Next offering misses down and away. Number 10, the runner at third. Number 22, on at first with two down. Stays alive. Hard ground ball, base down. In comes the run from third. It's three zip. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Well done. Drives in the run. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's it for Sean Manaya, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Paul Blackburn. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Aaron Judge at the plate. Aaron Judge. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Yo one. Ball one there. Yeah, the right hater deals. Yeah, there's a ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. Corners are occupied with two down. In the air, out towards right center. Piscotti makes his way towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Piscotti. The right fielder, Stephen Piscotti. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, 
but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Here's Elvis Andrews. That's a ball. And the righty deals. That's in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. And that's down and away. Righty to the plate. That one missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. It's softly on the ground to third. Sends it across to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Good fastball in on the hands. Makes the swing a little defensive. Jammed him up right there. And now, Sheldon Noisy. And that's in there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Two down, nobody on. One ball, two strikes, Mikhail. That nope, just misses. Ball. The count now two and two. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Astros three and the A's nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And now it's Alex Bregman. Here go. For the Astros, the third baseman, Alex Bregman. And a pitch. That one misses. And that is ball one. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Deolis Guerra getting loose out there. Pruitt getting cranked up as well. Right-handed reliever. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Jose Altuve up to hit here. In there and it's 0-1.
And that chance handled. One at second. Relay to first. Double play. Now batting. Left fielder. Tyler. O'Neal. Tyler O'Neal. Up next for the Astros. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And he'll shoot. Slapped foul. Here's the 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And here it comes. To the right side. Butler takes it to the bag. That's out number three. New inning getting started. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tony for Kemp. Oakland. The second baseman, Tony Kemp. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Phil Maytag getting ready to go. Baez warming up as well. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Left hand hitter waits. The punch out there. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. And we're just two games in. So. Hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Next to hit, Seth Brown. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And the pitch. Check swing, no appeal. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. Fair ball. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now batting, the center fielder. Two outs, Ramon. runner at first. Here's Laureano. Ramon Laureano. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, oh, Murphy, the runner at first with two gone. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing.
the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. One left for Oakland. They trail it here 3-0. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. A.J. Puck. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's the Astros' leadoff man, number 30. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And now the lefty hit well. Right field way back and gone. He made him pay for that one, and they tack one on the board. It's 4 nothing. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. So next up for Houston, Gary Cox. This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. And the 1 0. Good eye right there. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. And he takes a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The wind and the pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Puck with a move to first. Cox back easily. Number 10 stands in now, looks at that one inside. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Kicks and deals. And now two balls and a strike. The pitch. Stays alive. And he deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Noisy. In position. He makes the grab. One away. Now batting. Catcher. Diego. Corona. Diego Corona digs in now. 
he is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And the first pitch misses for ball one. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Move to first, and he's back in safely. Back over to first, and he's back in that time as well. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball three. At the belt and fires. And there's a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner, runner on first. Runner on the go. And ball four to a board. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Here's Juan Soto. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And first offering is fouled off. Now one and one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two on, one out. Good eye right there. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Cox around third. He'll score easily. It's 5-0. Picks himself up in RBI. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Domingo Acevedo will take over here. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Domingo Acevedo. So first and second with one man gone. Here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. And Judge spoils that one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The one, two. Got him. Two gone. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. Okay, and as a pitcher, two. it really allows you to start Alex. expanding the zone. Guys right, become man. defensive. And all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is. And that's what leads to the strikeout. And now it's going to be Alex Bregman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Corona, the lead runner at second. Soto at first, two out of the inning.
Not even close there. And it's one and one. And the slider just misses. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Astros five and the A's nothing. And welcome back. We go to the eighth, and now the DH, Chad Pinder. For the athletic, the designated hitter, Chad Pinder. Here comes a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. Yeah, now the 1 Wouldn't chase that time. The Astros have some action in their pen. Ryan Stanek up and loosening in the pen. Sulcer getting loose as well. The pitch. And, and it is two and one. The count is two and one. And the right hander deals. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That's back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. The first baseman, number six, Lawrence Butler. That's a really nice job right there. Great awareness making the catch up against the wall. You see the perfect technique. Feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseball as it's coming down. His glove in a good position to make the catch. That's exactly how you do it. And now Lawrence Butler in there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And a swing and a miss. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers and fouled off. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Deolis Guerra. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. The second baseman, Jose Altuve.
and a pitch. Very high with that one. And that's ball one. The pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one carrying. Banks off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. So, a man aboard, and next to hit for Houston, Tyler O'Neill. Left fielder, Tyler. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In the air, right side. Piscotti heading to the alley. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tagging for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. Now batting. Number 30. So the batting order turns over. Number 30 up next for the Astros. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers. And this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. First offering misses the mark. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Altuve stands at third with one gone in the inning. That's inside. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is downstairs. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch? And sort of what were the attributes you said? That's what he possesses that allows him to come through. Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack, could understand that, all right, this is a, a big, you know, payout if I can come through with a knock here. But I think when you really look at the numbers, you really audit everything, guys kind of are who they are. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. And there's ball four. Got a good day for the on base percentage right there. Walk number three, and the free bags keep on coming. You down with OBP, boo? Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Gary Cox. throw to first and he's back standing no, 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And a pitch. That's Upstairs. Cool. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Next one is off the play. Ball three. And a pitch. Knocks it down. Over to Andrews. And they'll just get the one. Now batting. Number 10. Number 10, getting ready to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0 1. They had a foul ball. Go, go. 0 and 2 now. Stays alive. Runners on first and third. Two away. Pickoff throw. And he's back in standing. Next pitch misses inside, and it's one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses the zone, and the count is even, two and two. one is lifted in the air base hit and a run into score you can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone got him in a chase on the two strike count but he wasn't fooled he hit that ball really well first and second two down next to hit Diego Corona this guy's turned into one of the best catchers in the National League Next pitch downstairs, and it's 1 0. And that's outside. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one is back. One run across, it bangs off the wall. Cut off, now a throw home. Save with the plate. It's a three run inside the park home run. On the mound now, Austin Pruitt. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 29, Austin Pruitt.
Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Juan Soto. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And ball one. Two outs. This one in the air right field. Piscotti drifts towards it. He's got it. And that will end the inning. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros nine and the A's nothing. Back here in Houston, we go to the ninth. Now it's the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. The shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Well, he's back out there to pitch the ninth and about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, this is exciting. I hope they let him finish this one. Next offering misses. One ball, one strike. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A towering home run is 11th of the year. It's 9-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now the third baseman, Sheldon Noisy. Up next to the third baseman. First pitch Sheldon just misses. Noisy. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. That one's got a chance. And out of here. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. Number nine gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Pitching change here, Ryan Stanek. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Number 45, Ryan Stanek. Next up for the A's, Tony Kemp. The batter, number five, second baseman, Tony Kemp. First offering, and it just misses. Stanek, known as a guy with pretty lights out type stuff, racks up the strikeouts, but the command at times can elude him. Next pitch misses inside. Now 2 0. Oh. Yeah, and a manager in a situation like this, this type of pitcher has to stay alert and ready. He's got to make sure he's watching from pitch to pitch, hitter to hitter, to quickly get another reliever up in the bullpen if he needs to bring someone in. 2 0. Oh. And a good eye there. And that lack of command, that's usually one of the things that leads guys to be converted from starter to reliever. Yeah, and it's such a short stint when you compare the two roles, starting and relieving. You hope that guy could find strike one right away when he comes in. There's a strike three and one. And a swing and a miss.
And the pitch. Taps softly to the right side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Right-handed reliever. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Seth Brown. Stepping in, Seth Brown. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Adam Wainwright, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball one there. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Foul ball. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Now it's going to be Sean Murphy. And the first offering is not close. In the air, center field. Cox settles under this one. He pulls it down, ball game. And the Astros add another to their winning streak. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Athletics. Two runs on five hits. One error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 28 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Minute Bay Park. 41,168. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.